prom or premature rupture of the uh, membrane spontaneously occurs in about 3 to 5 percent of all pregnancies. Uh, this is defined as uh, rupture of the membranes prior to the onset of uh, labor. Now gestational age is important as to how the management would go with uh, this disorder. Uh, at 34 weeks of uh, gestation or beyond, uh, most authorities would believe that delivery is indicated, so uh, induction of labor for a span spontaneous vaginal delivery or a cesarean section for obstetric indications is, is really considered the, uh, the therapy at 34 weeks or beyond. However, before 34 weeks of gestation, we must consider the uh, possibility of uh, preterm delivery increasing the risk of perinatal morbidity and mortality. Now, the conservative management of premature rupture of the membranes before 34 weeks is uh, what most authorities would recommend at this time. However, we need to understand that uh, uh, problems uh, related to conservative management uh, are many, and these need to be dis discussed with the patient, and we need to follow the patient accordingly if we are going to institute conservative care before 34 weeks. First and f foremost, all of these patients should be uh, admitted uh, to the hospital for the duration of the pregnancy uh, and should be monitored uh, every day. There are... <clears throat> at least eight possible consequences uh, that can occur in these patients with uh, spontaneous rupture of the membranes before 34 weeks of gestation. The first of these is the spontaneous onset of labor. The labor is more likely to occur uh, in the more advanced gestational ages than in the early. Uh, we understand that prostaglandins are produced more uh, from rupture of the membranes as the pregnancy advances. Uh, it's not unusual uh, uh, near term for labor to occur within uh, a day or so of rupture of membranes, whereas at, at uh, real early gestational ages, at 20, 24 weeks of gestation, uh, labor may not occur for even weeks at a time. Overall, probably uh, uh, there's a, a chance of labor in 50 to 60 percent of these patients, so, so this is a real uh, 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 possibility with rupture of the membranes early. Number two is chorioamnionitis. Now this uh, is a, usually an ascending infection which uh, occurs uh, uh, often uh, when membranes uh, are ruptured and especially uh, if there is a latent period between uh, the rupture and the delivery. Uh, the diagnosis of this is important because uh, once this is made, then the pregnancy uh, really should be terminated, either the vaginal delivery or cesarean section, as this is a risky uh, uh, entity for the mother uh, and the fetus. The diagnosis of chorioamnionitis uh, is made uh, by a maternal fever of uh, 100.4 uh, and at least uh, one or two of the following uh, being present too. A maternal leukocytosis, uh, fetal tachycardia, uterine tenderness, or uh, foul-smelling vaginal discharge. Number three, potential consequence of early rupture and uh, conservative management is umbilical cord compression. <clears throat> Loss of the amniotic uh, fluid renders the cord more vulnerable as there is not uh, uh, that fluid to protect the, uh, the cord from compression, say, between part of the fetus and the uh, uterine wall, and even occasionally rupture membranes uh, can cause the cord to prolapse through, through the cervix. Uh, as one can imagine, uh, if this occurs, this may be an obstetric um, emergency and requires a cesarean section, so uh, this, this should be kept in the back of, uh, of mind of the physician, and we should do uh, uh, daily uh, fetal monitoring to assess the fetal heart rate in these instances. Number four is uh, abruptio placenta. This occurs in approximately uh, six to ten percent of these patients who have uh, preterm premature rupture of the membranes. And uh, it can be an acute or a uh, chronic uh, 
uh, entity that occurs. Certainly then we have to be on the uh, lookout for uh, uh, any vaginal bleeding that we see in the mother or uh, uterine tenderness also may uh, occur uh, in this instance. The uh, degree of uh, uh, placental abruption or premature separation of the placenta obviously may uh, impact severely on the uh, outcome for the fetus. Uh, this may be uh, uh, first detected by fetal heart rate uh, 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 tracing changes. And uh, if this is a severe, certainly the woman uh, may have to undergo a cesarean section for uh, this entity. Uh, number five. <coughs> is arthrogryposis, and uh, this is a condition which comes secondary to the, uh, the crowding effect with uh, orthopedic deformities uh, occurring uh, in, the, uh, in the fetus. And this occurs over a long period of time when there is uh, a severe oligohydramnius or extremely small amount of fluid uh, left uh, after rupture. The, the fetus then is, is, has less uh, room to move and uh, cannot extend or flex its extremities. And if this uh, remains, uh, uh, as I have described, over a period of weeks, uh, then upon delivery, this baby may have uh, uh, severe problems uh, with this entity and even uh, orthopedic surgery in the neonatal period may not be able to restore the fetus back to, or the neonate back to its normal uh, uh, flexion and extension um, uh, status. Number six is amniotic band syndrome. <clears throat> uh, upon rupture of the uh, membranes, uh, then the amnion is the uh, outer, uh, uh, obviously, is the inner uh, membrane surrounding the fetus with the outer being the chorion, but the amnion is a much stronger, has much stronger tensile strength and uh, it can, as its rupture goes around, uh, twindle around the fingers and toes and, and even the uh, fetal nose, and it can cause amputations or deformities secondary just to this uh, tight uh, band effect that can occur. Uh, this usually takes uh, several weeks, even months, to, uh, to occur, but if a membrane's rupture very early in pregnancy, then this is a potential uh, consequence of, uh, of uh, preterm premature rupture of the membranes. Uh, number seven is one of the most uh, devastating uh, problems associated with very early rupture of the membranes. It has been shown that um, amniotic fluid volume uh, is necessary for the developing fetal lungs. Uh, the fetus must breathe in and out amniotic fluid uh, to develop the lungs uh, uh, and cause them to expand. So if amniotic fluid is not present uh, before 23 weeks of gestation, then there's a distinct possibility uh, that the fetus uh, may end up with uh, pulmonary hyperplasia and then even uh, uh, the neonatologist will not be able to ventilate this child and, and the child will uh, expire in the, in the intensive care nursery from these very premature uh, lungs. Number eight is the uh, last consequence that I will mention concerning um, preterm premature rupture of the membrane, and this is actually a, a very positive one. Occasionally, the leaking stops altogether, and this is probably secondary to a uh, uh, closure of the small puncture wound, what, whatever occurred, to cause this to rupture. In other words, the, uh, the uh, uh, amnion, amnion or uh, the chorion reseals, and the leakage uh, stops. Uh, the way to make this diagnosis for sure uh, would be the use of a, a amniocentesis and placing um, a, a dye like indigo carmine into the amniotic fluid and, and then placing a, a tampon in the vagina and coming back and checking within uh, a few hours because if, the, if there is leakage uh, of amniotic fluid, then this would result in a tampon with uh, a very blue effect from this dye. If there is no uh, 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 no leakage, then obviously there'd be no more no blue, and then that would be excellent because that means that the leakage uh, has stopped, and the woman would reaccumulate amniotic fluid in her uh, in the sac, and the woman could even be discharged and hopefully carry the term. 
these are the, the eight uh, uh, potential complications and, uh, with preterm premature rupture of the membranes, and these must be uh, uh, measured against the, the problems associated with preterm delivery, which are numerous as well, and it would, would uh, uh, include things like cerebral palsy, uh, 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 problems with the fetal uh, uh, infection, uh, respiratory distress syndrome, uh, uh, enterocolitis, and all the other problems that can be associated with preterm delivery. Thank you.